Hey Assassins, welcome back to part number 3 in how to build the Rinkomania from Stranger Things Season 4 and in Minecraft. So, uh, for those that didn't check out the previous two parts, you can go ahead and find them with a link to a playlist in the description below. And uh, yeah, once you're up to scratch, we're going to begin with part number 3. Let's get some materials and get started. Well, get skating, let's just go for it. Okay then Assassins, so to begin today, we will take some light blue concrete some blue terracotta, an end rod, some black stained glass panes, some dark oak planks, some dark oak doors, crimson trap doors, blue glazed terracotta, and some purple glazed terracotta as well. Firstly, this wall we made over here in the last episode, it comes out forward for two blocks uh, from the doorway just here on the right. Now that is perfect, we're going to need to just extend this along this way in order to build where the arcade will be. So we're going to go along for 24, including this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So just a space away from kind of the ending of this area here. Perfect. Now we're going to go back along with our blue terracotta for these two layers, of course. Here and here. Then we'll do our two layers of light blue above this one. Now we could make the space behind it kind of like a storage area, but um, I think I just left it plain on my original one. But anyways, we do that just like so. And then we'll come down to this side over here. And we want to go ahead and sort of curve this around the corner. It's going to come out for five. So we'll go into the corner here for this corner one. Don't count that one. We'll start here to count. One, two, three, four, five. So we just come out from this one here. You can build this one right the way up. And then we'll add in our blue just for four blocks here and the two rows like so. And then we'll do the light blue just surrounding this terracotta like so. Perfect, now we have the space ready for our arcade machines. Wonderful. Now we'll go over here and we'll add in our rentals area. So we'll go from this block along to 12, which should be over here, but we're gonna leave a space just on this last one here. So we'll go one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This will be twelve, but we don't, of course, build that one in. Down this side, what we'll do is we'll go to the top and we'll add in two, just like so. And then we'll come to here, and we want to add in ourselves um, enough space for Purpa to go under here. So Purpa slabs are going to go in this gap. So I'm going to go for the N of rentals, N, T, A, L, S, and then I'm going to add two more. One, two. And then I'm going to drop down again here, and that should leave us with another sort of cluster of four just in here to add in three before reaching the back wall. Perfect. That is good stuff. Now I add in a block here, and two just here, and that closes up that area nicely and opens up the rental sort of window here. Perfect. Add yourself some crimson trap doors above the doorway, and voila. Now we'll take our light blue concrete and we'll go to the other side of the door. Building one, two, three, four, five, and we'll go ahead and build these up. We're going to go build them up to the same layer as the rentals area, just so it's all the same sort of uh, height here and everything. Then we'll do a door directly around the corner. We'll add in two blocks above, and then we're going to add in a dark oak plank just here. Our door will go in here, so we'll replace the floor with light blue concrete, and build our door just going backwards into the building like so. These are the offices. One of these offices is where Eleven goes to cry. So we need to, of course, build the detail in that one later. I don't mean details in, like, an Eleven cry. <laughs> that would be so mean. No, no, no. I mean, like, uh, I think there's a um, a shampoo bottle or a conditioner bottle or something for the um, floors uh, on one of the cabinets that she uh, she's next to. So we need to go and add that detail in. I don't mean Eleven cry. Goodness me. <laughs> then we'll add a pillar just here. Then we'll go one, two, three this way. And we'll build this one up to the top and connect it over. We only want a four block window, so we'll add in another two here and then do black stained glass panes in there for four. Then we'll go ahead and add in another layer just here. Then we want to add in a second door, so we'll do a two levels of um, two layers of the uh, blue concrete. Then we'll do dark oak plank. Uh, then we'll do ourselves, we'll keep the, uh, the floor the same actually, just like so. And I might change this floor back actually. Just kind of realize that maybe it looks better the other way around. Sorry guys, my bad. Always notice a little thing 
that I did in my original one that I kind of like to be a bit different in this one. And that was it there. Awesome. Now we want to go ahead and build another pillar this side of the door. And then we're going to add in a 2 by 3 kind of layered window. Or 3 by 2 should I say. So we'll go 1, 2, 3. We'll actually go 4. We'll build the 4th one going upwards and connect it over for 2 layers. And then we'll do 2 layers of 3 for the windows here. Perfect. Now from this big area here with this big window, we'll go ahead and jump backwards just here diagonally for a nice pillar, just like so. Remember a pillar of 5 just in here. Then we'll do another 2x2 two two window down here. So we'll go for 1, 2, 3. This one will be built up and connected over. A second layer as well. And then our four block window in total, just in there. Then we'll go diagonally back again for another window. We're actually going to make a wall just in here. So let's fill this all in. And we're actually going to make a wall over here as well. I think it may be just here. But uh, I will have to go and check these things. For now though, we'll just build them in like this because I'm pretty sure that is quite accurate. But hey, like I said, best to check our work anyways. Then we can add in our door back over here which is like I said is going to be just back again sort of diagonal so oh, on this one even so just here and then uh, we go ahead and be in line with the lockers over here so adding the two layers of five two pillars of five just like so our dark oak above and then our two light blue just in there and then our wall in here it's very very small little sort of office this one which is why I think the wall could be over here instead I'll check so yeah, just to recap, it goes left of the door just here, there's a wall. And then left of this four block window in total, there's a wall just in here. So if we go ahead and remove these two, just like so, uh, you can... No, we won't remove that one just to be on the safe side. <laughs> or just place the wall in here, just to have some dividing between the three offices like so. Perfect. Of course, they will be detailed afterwards as well. Wonderful. Now, if you want to go ahead and take some... End rods, we can probably sort out some end rods over on this side over here. So then for our end rods, we'll start over here, just to the left of the snack bar, and we'll work our way along. So we'll go right the way to the top layer, so here, and we'll just build them just a block away from the corner. Then we'll add in some here. Don't worry about the direction and everything like that, that's all good. You can always tidy things up afterwards if you want to. Um, as long as you have the end rods placed in here, they will look pretty cool no matter what you do with them, because um, this build is 90% end rod to be honest <laughs> now we're going to build two temporary ones just coming out here and then we'll build two going inwards to the snack sign just over here like so perfect why is there a spruce tree over there oh it's the 7-eleven okay right anyways back to this side we'll go ahead and build from this wall out from this one uh, actually we'll do two along this way first and two here so above the door then we'll do two forward and two forward then a temporary two, and then of course we need to build two this way to go into the snack sign, like so. Wonderful. Now I'll we'll come over to this doorway over here and just add in again the uh, two layers, like so. So then for this arcade wall, we'll do one just here, and then remove the temp one. We'll go one, two, three, and four blocks away to place a temporary one, and go back into the left for one. Oh, we need to leave a gap of three between them. There we go, like so. We're all going to face this way. We're all going to make the uh, emeralds face this way, just so it looks all like a, like an arcade sort of wall, with the neon lights and everything. We'll place one temporary one here, and one temporary one just here. And then we'll do ourselves one here, and one here like so. So they have a space between them as well. Awesome. And now we just do like five lots of the uh, these ones going back along to one another, leaving a gap between each one. So we'll add in the gaps using, uh, we'll actually use some blocks. So we'll go for blue here, 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 and here. So we add in four blocks, because of course we have this one. Oh, I did that wrong. It's going to be space away. There we go. Cool. So this is going to be number one out of five. So one, two, three, and this will be the fourth one. Let's add them in now. Oops. Just here. And then remove the blocks, and you should have five with a block between them. And then we'll go up to the top and stop just on this end rod here. So I'll actually add them in. Ooh, there we go. 
I think I'm going to need to buy a new controller. My controller's been a bit dodgy recently. So there we go. Awesome. So as long as you have the five in here, it's really hard to go wrong with this one up here. As long as you stop on that one, we're all good. Okay, so let's go for building um, some end rods going from this just oop, this block just here. And it will go along to uh, this corner down here. So quite simple. Place an attempt there. We may as well just work backwards with this one as it's going to be into the sort of wall over here. So I think this one goes right the way into the wall, just there. And then we'll build this one coming forward. So it's in line with the uh, the rental sign just here. It doesn't come forward at all. It just kind of stops right there. Epic. That looks so cool. So then we'll go down here and we'll build ourselves oh, that one there. And then this one just here like so. So two layers. And then we'll come along to the front of the offices. And we also need to build them in here. So I'm just going to place some temp ones. Remove them. So I can get some going along the front of these offices just here. Fill these in. Right the way along to that one there. Going to backtrack back to my uh, rental sort of area over here. And add in one, two to match the concrete. And then three up here. One, two, three. Just like so. Epic. Now back down this side. Past the uh, those offices on onto these ones. We'll add in these ones just to line up with the uh, concrete. And then again, just to here. And then again to the back wall there. Now on these ones, you can knock out that one and maybe replace this so it looks a bit cleaner, just like this. And then in here, we're just going to go right the way along to the end of our warped hyphae just down here. So we go literally just to that last one, just there above the locker. Epic. And then I'll kind of light up that entire locker area and just make it look really cool. Especially when the roof is quite low, it looks really, really neon and how we want it to be, which is epic. Good stuff, guys. That is a huge section done. Now we'll take ourselves our blue glazed terracotta and our purple glazed terracotta and go ahead and build some floor. Some flooring. Now we're going to start with our purple down here. And as long as we alternate for the rest of this uh, grassed area, we'll have ourselves the arcade floor. The, the classic arcade carpet, really. So we're trying to give it this all in in a nice little formation. So if you want to go ahead and fill in this entire grass area with your uh, alternating pattern, then we'll get back to the tutorial. Let's go for it guys. Just a heads up assassins, because we're building the arcade next, there's going to be a lot of machines of course. And those machines have a lot of different materials, and so we may end up having to grab an entire hotbar just for say one machine. But if we get it done one at a time, then at least we can be productive about it, and uh, hopefully get everything done correctly as well. So let's firstly take ourselves our item frame. We'll stick it just below the end rod up here with a white banner in, like so. Similar to what we did at the front entrance over there. Then we'll take some yellow concrete. Oh, by the way, my materials. I almost forgot. Yellow concrete was what we need. Some yellow wool as well. A creeper head. Some glass panes. Some white banners, as you know. <laughs> An item frame as well. Yellow carpet. A redstone comparator. And orange concrete. Let's firstly take some yellow concrete going three here, next to our item frame and just on the floor here, and then three out as well. Then we'll go ahead and replace this back one with yellow wool. We'll stick ourselves a creeper head on, maybe at an angle like so. Then we'll do ourselves two layers of glass pane all the way around the creeper head. And then we'll take ourselves a item frame just in here, with a redstone comparator upside down just over here. Now then, we will want to take ourselves some yellow carpet all the way around the glass just here and also over it, just like so. Now hopefully it'll be able to stay up there because of course we have the item frame in there. Wicked. And whilst we have these materials, let's come over here and build a little sort of sweet vendor machine. So we'll do an orange concrete just here. We'll take ourselves a... Oh, crumbs. Okay, we need some glass. <laughs> we need some normal glass instead of glass pane. So glass just here. An item frame on the front with a redstone comparator upside down again, and then yellow carpet on top. That isn't entirely done, but that is pretty much the majority of it done just there, so we may as well do it whilst we have the materials. Okay then, I think we should get started with the next machine. So now we'll take ourselves some yellow concrete powder, some smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slab, a redstone repeater, a white banner again, 
some birch signs, nether brick slabs, nether brick stairs, and a polished blackstone button. We'll go ahead and stick a polished blackstone button on the little vending machine just here, and that is now done. Uh, well, the grabber just there. And then we'll go over here, we'll leave a space away from the, uh, the grab machine just here, and we'll take ourselves a block of smooth quartz, block of smooth quartz again, maybe with our slabs of course, a yellow concrete powder on top, a stair going this way, so facing towards the uh, rink, with a slab just out from it like so. We'll write a sign just here that says Dig Dug on the second row down from the birch sign. So I'll have to get down to that second row, just here, dig, and then space away, dug, like so. Then we'll do ourselves a redstone repeater just here. We're going to uh, move the uh, little joystick along like so. We'll stick a button just here, and then we'll stick a white banner just at the back here. Uh, you can stick it on the back, or you can stick it on the front. Let's do it on the front, just here, and here like so. Just to add in a little extra detail. Awesome. Now because Dragon's Lair is besides it, and it is the same sort of style of arcade machine, we'll go ahead and build this one too. Well, the start of it. We'll build a block here of nether, and one here as well. A third one, a stair here, and then a slab forward as well. Oops, like so. We'll do another button down here, and then a redstone repeater again, for the little joysticks on top like so. Wonderful. Now we'll grab some more materials. So to finish Dragon's Lair, and to start building our next arcade machine, we'll take a dragon head, an item frame, a black banner, a crimson sign, some leather tunic, a leather tunic, a leather cap, an armor stand, a yellow banner, and some nether brick stairs as well. Okay then, so we'll go ahead and stick our item frames just on the side of Dragon's Lair, and then we'll stick dragon heads in them like so. Then we'll stick ourselves black banners below these, like so. It's best we do the uh, white banners forward, just so we can place the black ones on here at the back there like so, and they look really really cool together. We'll do a crimson sign up here, second layer down we'll write ourselves dragon's layer, dragon's layer, just in here like so, nice and menacing, epic, and then we'll start our next machine. For this one it is actually one of the first scenes we do see in uh, Stranger Things season 4 for the Rinko Mania, so we actually see like a little uh, trailer almost for the rink, so there's the camera coming this way, and it shows a guy sort of having an arm wrestle with uh, one of the arcade things over here. So we'll build this one again a space away. We'll do ourselves an armor stand here. We're going to put our leather tunic on and our leather cap on. And then we'll sort of make it look like it's having an arm wrestle. So like that, step, that pose just there. Then we'll stick ourselves a nether brick stair just up to the right of it. We'll do a black banner above that. And then a yellow banner behind our armor stand like so. Now we need some more materials. So now we've got ourselves some yellow concrete, a smoker, a polished blackstone pressure plate, a polished blackstone button, birch trap doors, birch stairs, birch slabs, a piston, a normal one, not a sticky one, and a block of redstone as well. Firstly, we'll take ourselves yellow concrete, we'll place it in front of our armor stand just here, then we'll stick ourselves a redstone block just a space away, and then we'll place a piston just here. That will push the block under the uh, armor stand there, and then we'll remove the piston, and then the redstone block as well. We'll stick ourselves two more yellow concretes here, a smoker here, crouch to place a pressure plate on top, and a button on the front like so. And that is this machine pretty much done. We'll take a birch trap door just on this one, fold it down, for like, almost where the money may come out or something, or uh, you maybe put it in, who knows, but it kind of looks like a change drawer to me. And then up here we want to grab ourselves a birch sign, uh, going from, let's pig block it from our polished blackstone button. And we'll stick it on the front of this one, and we'll write on the second row down, all in caps, to make it very like, you know, menacing, well not menacing, menacing, it's kind of like drawing you in a little bit, enticing. And we'll just write ourselves, let's go, or let's try even, let's try, there we go. Let's try, and it's like, you know, you have to wrestle this guy, <laughs> this machine, <laughs> there we go, and then we'll do ourselves a space away, starting the other machine, we'll go for one, two stairs like so, in a bit of a strange uh, design there, we'll do one upside down here, one forward here, but this is not going to be here temporarily, uh, sorry, permanently, and then we'll do one forward like so, so you have this strange shape here, don't worry, that's all going to be covered up by some birch trap doors, 
So we do box trap doors here and here, folded down, one at the front folded down, and two around the side folded down. The reason we only use stairs for this and not blocks is so we can basically just save ourselves some uh, inventory space and get more materials in at the same time. Then we'll stick a slab up here of birch, and voila, let's get ourselves some more materials. I've got to say quickly guys, this place is looking incredible so far. Look at this, we already have like a little bit of an arcade, this is awesome. So let's take ourselves a detector rail, some activator rail, some smooth redstone stairs, smooth redstone slabs, iron bars, glass panes, nether brick stairs, black stained glass, and finally some orange carpet as well. We will go ahead and stick our rail just on this pinball machine just here. So we'll stick a detector rail there, and activate a rail just here. We'll go ahead and place ourselves an upside down step just here. Uh, then we'll do ourselves a second one. Uh, a second one? No, 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 we'll actually go for just that normal one like so. And then another upside down one just here. Cool. Then we're going to build ourselves in just at a side like so. Like a like an angle going up there. We'll do ourselves a upside down stair just in there. And then I'm going to do a normal stair just here. And you know what? Now I'll do another upside down like so. Then a normal. Then I'm going to curve this around the corner. And then curve it around again. Then I'm going to do myself a slab just in here. Maybe. No, I might just do... I'm going to do this instead. So a stair here, another stair, and then turn that around and around as well. Then here, and then again, just like so. And then we leave a space on the end over here. Perfect. It's a little bit hard to sort of get the uh, logistics of it going first, and then we uh, then we get it all underway. So we'll do another stair going up this way, an upside down stair just in here, a block of black stained glass here. Then we'll leave one, two blocks away, and do another one one, two blocks away, and another one just here. And it should line up with the middle step on each one at the forward. At the forward? <laughs> at the front. <laughs> I've lost my ability to speak again. Oh no. <laughs> then we'll do ourselves a stair here, and a stair here, so almost coming down from the uh, the glass. Like, ooh, like this. Nope, not like that. Like, nope. Like this. Okay, I thought we were going to have some major bloopers there. And then we'll do an upside down stair between them, and a normal below the middle ones like so. Cool beans, okay. And now as we have the middle ones kind of a bit uh, bit more troublesome and uh, not as easily accessible as these outside ones, we'll, um, we'll go ahead and fill these with just with some blocks made of the slabs, like this. And same over here. And then on this side we'll do the same as we did on the other side. So we'll do an upside down stair, kind of in the back, back wall over here, and this curves around for two, just like so just to make it look a bit tidier and uh, cooler really. So now we have three little trenches in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves in like a, a ball pit. So we'll do stairs going backwards from these and then we'll do a slab in the center just here like this. But you can even do a stair like this so now it has like a, a bit to go back in there so you can hit the ball to go right the way back in there and get extra points or um, if the ball doesn't happen to go in that way and you miss it goes in this little kind of uh, collector area and you can grab it back out and then try again. Kind of like that. Bit of a simple and uh, cool basketball game. We'll take nether brick stairs going up and down each of these glass. Just kind of finalize this and make it look cool and clean. We'll do ourselves a slab in the central glass and then we'll do orange carpet on uh, each side for four. Just like so. Cool. Now we'll take ourselves our iron bars and we'll do one here one here, two in each of these center ones, on the uh, nether brick, on, <laughs> voice break right there, and then we'll do a glass pane on each of these, below them, and then we'll do again, more iron bars coming out from them, just like so, epic, and that will obviously close up each of the uh, the lanes there, and then each and everyone can kind of have a go, um, instead of just having like a free for all in the center there, <laughs> epic, okay. We need to grab some more materials and complete these, and then we can work on the rentals area too. So then, to finish up this area and to start our rentals area, we will take some end portal frames, item frames again, orange stained glass, a glow item frame, white stained glass panes, white terracotta, waxed weathered cut copper, pink terracotta, and a pearlescent frog light as well. 
Now we'll go ahead and stick ourselves item frames on the back ones. Uh, I think they're on the back ones. They kind of go in here, so they're like the uh, the place, the targets really, almost the places to aim for. The targets, obviously. So they go in here like so. <laughs> and then we'll stick glow, glow item frames on each of the glass blocks above. The glass blocks will have ourselves some orange stained glass on, like so, in those glow item frames. And then down here, these will have the end portal frames in, just like so, because they have that really like kind of square abyss. That's what we're using for our, our kind of um, target just there. I mean, you could even use a target, but because it doesn't have like a, a hole in it, it would look a bit strange. It looked like you're trying to shoot some arrows at it. So uh, we just use end portal frames just to get the job done there. Okay then, so into our rentals area, we're going to take ourselves some of this white terracotta. We're actually going to go to the outline of our rentals area. So we'll kind of close up everything here, even to the back wall just there. And we're going to build this to the block above our light blue because this will correspond with the, uh, the kind of rest of the ceiling outside of this area. It's just this one has a different ceiling color which can be very awkward. There we go, like so. And I'm going to actually pick my, pick block even, <laughs> my light blue back, and I'm just going to fill up this section here. So now we're going to close up this entire back wall there, like so. Cool. I'm also going to build myself a wall just in here, which once again will be different to the uh, the rest of the sort of Rinko Mania, because this is actually a bigger section than uh, the rest of the area. Wicked. Okay. So now if we were to go inside of the uh, the rentals area, there will be a wall directly on your right. So um, if you were like looking at the window, it would just be over here. This is where they store the socks and whatnot, but it's also where they uh, they can kind of access this back area. So we'll do one, two, three, and four blocks along here. And then we'll add in one over this way. We'll build this one to the ceiling. We'll go leaving just a gap of two there for the doorway. And then we'll fill in the rest of this space just up here and when we get to this side, we take two layers of three wax where the cut copper just for our sort of sock rack just there. Good stuff. So we have that big wall in there. Then in here it looks very, very high ceiling. So we'll just bring this down a bit with our pink. We'll do it for two layers like this. And in this second layer, we'll stick ourselves some pearlescent frog lights in there like so, just to make it glow and be less dark. In the ceiling here, you can include the pearlescent frog lights in your actual white terracotta ceiling. So I recommend just going to kind of a random space really. Uh, there's no real technique to it. We'll go like three, two blocks from the from the back and then we'll go one, two, three. Leave a space and another three over here. And then we'll do the same again. Just a space away. Good stuff. It's very, very bright in there, but you can obviously change it how you want to. Good stuff. Then we'll take some white stained glass panes just here for two. Wonderful. Now we'll grab ourselves some more materials. Okay then guys, so to finish up the rental area, we'll take ourselves some dark oak slabs, some dark oak stairs, dark oak trap doors, an item frame, tripwire hooks, a rabbit's foot, which is actually gonna be representing the sock. Of course, not an actual rabbit's foot. And then we'll take ourselves some purple wool as well. For the purple wool, we'll actually replace the floor in here with our purple wool, just to change it up a little bit, make it look nicer and uh, less like the sort of food area and the arcade area this is a separate sort of own entity really and we're trying to make that just here by changing up the floor a little bit of interior design <laughs> always good fun so there we go like so now we can take ourselves these two uh, dark oak materials and our trapdoors and we want to go ahead and build our unit we'll do ourselves one over here which is going to be sort of two upside down stairs back to back like this to create like a four block cabinet and this one will go up to the second block down from the ceiling and that is where we add in ourselves some trapdoors on the very top so it just goes to here and then we sort of close this up in a second when I can get the unit done there we go Phew. and then we'll take trapdoors just above there again just to like I said close it up and make it look cool and then we'll take ourselves slabs above these ones here to the whoop, to the corner there, and then back to this corner over this way as well. Epic. So now that we have the slabs in here, we're actually going to take ourselves some stairs. We'll go straight up from the bottom behind these ones, and just build them up to the very top there. Then we'll come to 
uh, let's just go directly next to it actually and build in another one just here um, yeah that's all good actually I think just trying to see if I can change this somehow I might do it at three you know I'm gonna do it just here and then add in myself some slabs between them like that and then in the corner over here I'll add in myself one two three four and then I'm gonna do slabs again just like so cool and now we're back around the corner we'll do ourselves some normal stairs just like this from the ground up I know it looks a bit odd and then over here as well and then we'll add in a big shelf just on this wall over here don't worry that the uh, the glass will back against this cabinet that is actually all good that is kind of what we want just here on this one over here you can you can actually change this one to make it look a bit uh, more professional and just kind of change it so it doesn't look so so bad so you can just knock out the stairs and just add in the uh, the slabs in there and then cover the stairs up sorry the slabs up with the stairs like so but it's up to you guys how you want to do it it can be done any which way which is awesome as long as you have one two three four um, abilities to uh, stick item frames on like so and then of course over here we'll do item frames again and then basically we're going to add item frames on every single one which is always quite a troublesome task because we have a lot of uh, lot of shelf space but we don't want to fill in every single one of these we want to make it look like certain shoes are already out on the rink and so we sort of add in only specific ones you know we don't go to town with it we don't go overboard we're only going to do specific ones so we'll do this like this good stuff and then we'll take tripwire hooks over this way one two three above two here an item frame here with a rabbit's foot in and that will represent the sock just there and then we'll get some shoes. Okay then assassins, so to dye your shoes for your Rinkomania, you want to take yourself these dyes here. So any dye you want, let's go for some green, let's get some orange, uh, maybe a bit of blue, and then let's go for some red as well. We're going to take ourselves a cauldron, place it down on the floor, take a water bucket, place it in the cauldron just like so, and now you can dye the water with your dyes just here. Let's go for green first. There you go. And then just dip your boots in like so, and voila, green boots like that. Now you can actually dye the same amount of boots, the same boots, any amount of times. So let's go ahead and change the water to orange. Dye the same boots orange. Blue, which obviously it takes a few to get to blue because it can be mixed just here. And there you go, blue like so. Looking pretty cool. So that is how we decorate uh, the Rinkomania with our kind of roller blades like this. So you can just dye them in the cauldron and then get a wall like this and leaving blanks between them. I'm going to do this on my original one in a second, but this is what you want to have in your one too. Okay guys, let's get this done. So just like this, taking yourself any type of boot you have dyed, just go ahead and place these in with leaving a few gaps as well. You don't want any, uh, the, you don't really want the look of it to be like all full, like they're at closing time. You know, you want everything to be looking like it's in in progress in work like this so we just go ahead and place the boots in a really random formation and uh, leave a few gaps here and there just to represent everything like so awesome that looks really really cool it looks like they're having a busy day actually and then we'll take a purple slab and finally place purple along here for the sort of desktop removing that one just there to place one and then above here as well you can stick yourself purple right the way along uh, to either end like so Wicked. We are all done with this one just here. Okay then assassins, we'll take ourselves some red concrete, some glass, some iron bars, some item frames, some stone buttons, some red carpet, jungle trap doors, a composter, and some yellow terracotta as well. We'll come over to this side again, where we have this little machine just here. We'll go a block to its left, and we want to go a second block to the left and build two red concretes. We'll then go two up just here. We'll do an item frame down here with some iron bars in. Two stone buttons here. Two glass blocks here with some red carpet on top. And then we want to come two forward from this area, uh, from this one just over here. So one, two, and build ourselves a cluster of four uh, composters for our bins just here. These will each have an, a jungle trap door on 
But if you want to do them back to back, I recommend doing these two and then going this side and building these two as well. Just so when they're open, they look really cool. Just like so. Now we have ourselves a coke vending machine in here and some bins. Let's come to this side and build ourselves like a dining area. We'll take a composter just here with another jungle trap door on top of it. Oops, like so. We'll then leave a space away and build a terracotta table. And then we're going to leave a two block gap and build another one. Two block gap, another one. Two blocks, two blocks, two blocks, two blocks. And so we reach two blocks away and then we're on like one block away up this end like so. Good stuff. Now we'll turn around and do this side. So we're going to do ourselves composters here and here with some trapdoors on top again. We'll leave this space and then we'll build a table here. Two blocks, table, two, 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 and then two like so. And that will leave one block on the end for the seats just there. Perfecto, let's get some seats. We will need some stone buttons again, some prismarine brick stairs, a flower pot, a cake, who doesn't love cake? Oh. An end rod, some red stained glass, some blue stained glass, and a dark oak sign as well. We will firstly go ahead and take ourselves our prismarine brick stairs and place them like this. Of course, these little tables are gonna have back-to-back -back stairs. So this can get a bit, a uh, little bit boring, but I recommend just going for like, doing this way first and then going backtracking to do the rest. So we'll do this way now, just like so back and forth and it doesn't get too bad like once you start doing it it's not actually that bad but it is just uh, quite time consuming just like this uh, and that is all good to go it's now here as well and this is all the tables for the uh, the Renko mania so it is important to get these built so then people can actually sit down and have some food <laughs> and uh, we've almost done it just over here and there we go perfect it looks really cool when they're all lined up. Now we'll take ourselves stone buttons on every single table um, besides our fourth one. One, two, three. On four, there's going to be a flower pot and then a cake. And then if you want to build this sort of birthday scene, we do ourselves an end rod here and here. A red stained glass on this one and a blue on this one. Just to add in some birthday balloons like so. Then we'll go back to sticking our stone buttons on each of the tables. And these are kind of the uh, sort of napkin um, holsters, holsters, <laughs> servers even, holsters, oh my gosh, I know this is America, but that's a bit too far, so, <laughs> and then we'll take a flower pot, and we'll place these up just dotted around to represent some cups on the tables, so they're kind of like the, uh, just drinking cups and whatnot, and we can even replace them with some of the, uh, the little pots on the tables, uh, sorry, the napkin holsters, as I, as I said, <laughs> just like so, just to add a little bit more detail in, like this. Good stuff, and when you're happy we have enough, then you can call it a day and that is all completed. Now we'll take ourselves our dark oak signs and on each of these doors, we'll just write employees only. Again, on the second row down and all in caps. So employ with an apostrophe S and then this only may drop down to the third row. It should be able to stay there, there we go, like so. Hopefully, if you have predictive text, it should remember what you just typed, which mine didn't, <laughs> unfortunately. But you uh, can just type on these signs just here. The same thing three times over. And then that is another little detail added on to uh, this section just here. And then we'll actually detail this in a second. Try and get this bit done as well today. And then leave it so we only have the rink to do. And then the back sort of rooms as well with the, the bathrooms and whatnot. So quite simple bits to do. And of course the roof. There we go. Awesome. Let's get some more materials. Okay then guys, so for these little offices, we'll take some bookshelves, some dark oak trap doors, some pearlescent frog lights, some white terracotta again, an acacia trap door, dark oak stairs, a painting, a clock, and an item frame as well. Firstly, go into this one just here. I'm gonna sneak over the roof. We'll go ahead and build ourselves a bookshelf just for a corner like so. Then we'll build this one just up to the second layer from the ceiling like this. We'll add in trap doors here and we'll do the exact same as what we did with the rentals. We'll go ahead and close this entire area over with our white terracotta matching up to the, uh, the sort of walls here. 
just like so. And this will allow us to build the rest of the roof in without these separate sort of little buildings inside. Cool. Now we can add in ourselves a nice 2x3 sort of roof light like so. Now if you are looking at it and thinking, oh my goodness, the roof is so high because we have like two blocks above the window and whatnot. You can of course bring the roof down, you may just have to shrink the bookshelf uh, just by a block like so. But um, you can keep the rest of it all in here. Just remove your, uh, well move your frog lights down like so. And then your trapdoors can go on that third layer instead. Cool. Then we'll take an upside down stair here. Oops, here. And then we'll have to do a temp one here to build another upside down one there. We'll do one here. And then one over this way. We'll do a item frame here with a clock in and a 2x2 two two painting behind the person sat here. So I have to knock out some of the wall just here. And then I'm going to get the uh, skull one just so it matches the walls in this little office. Uh, where are you? Come on, there you are. Cool. Awesome. So I'm just going to get myself the concrete fill back in and pick block my painting back. We'll take some acacia trap doors for the windows here, for almost like some window blinds or whatnot. So all you want to do is just fold these down and they'll uh, attach to the panes just like so. From the outside, it looks really, really cool. Let's go into the second one. Oops. <laughs> so over here, we want to take ourselves a big desk. This has different materials in, so we tried to change up a little bit, but not too much. We'll do an upside down stair here, all the way down to there, and along in front of the window just to here. You can keep this one forward, or you can turn it around like so. Then we'll do ourselves a step just in here, just to add in a little seat. And then we'll add in ourselves a item frame again, uh, just about here, a clock in like so, a 1x2 painting over here, I'm going to get the one of the creeper head in, uh, similar to this one, there it is, cool, and then fill in the rest of the wall, and then I'll do my acacia down here, then I'll shrink the roof down just by a layer. Then of course I'm going to add in my uh, ceiling lighting as well, just to here, and then we'll finish the rest of the details in this one afterwards. So for this ceiling light, I might do the same as my original one, just kind of add in, I might just add in a 2x2 two two like so. Yeah, that brightens up the place quite nicely. Cool. And then for the final one, we come down to this one, we do ourselves an upside down stair that goes just about here, and this is the one that Eleven is actually sat in. We'll make sure there's a, a bit of a window in here. So we're just going to knock out those blocks there. Um, I will pick block myself back some uh, windows in a second, so I might remove my bookshelves in a moment. Just getting my windows back, placing them here, but we'll uh, lock these up with our acacia trap doors, like so. And then here as well. Roof comes down, obviously a layer. And then we'll add in just a couple pleasant frog lights, maybe just one there and then one here, just like so. Cool, we'll do a 1x2 painting over here, or a 2x1, I can never remember which way around it is, I think it's a 2x1, it just goes over here. So we'll have to make that in, which is a little bit tricky, so in a sec we'll do it, we'll do an item frame here with a clock in, and then we'll go ahead and build it over here. Let's go, uh, let's go a block from the wall over this way, so we'll do it just about here. Yeah, the ocean looks pretty good. Then we'll fill all that back in. We'll do another one by one just here. So I'll knock out that one and that one. And put in this one. Be careful of the painting on the other side. And then we'll close this back up like so. Oops. There we go. We'll add ourselves a desk just in here at the corner. And then a seat on this side. Bear in mind, of course, you guys can detail these offices a bit more than I have. It's just because we don't see them in the series and we only see this one. This is the only one I kind of detailed, well, to be accurate, I guess. So um, the others can be experimented with. You can make them into proper little offices. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys do. If you want to tag me and show me what you've done over on things like Instagram, please go ahead and use at Wheel Assassin Guides. And uh, yeah, you can show me the stuff that you guys have been up to with these little offices. I'd love to see. Okay, well, that is everything in here. So to finish these offices, let's take some spruce stairs, as a chest, a barrel, a dark oak sign again, a dark oak fence gate, and some purple wool. Now we'll go into the far office on the right side. We'll go ahead and open this up, 
we'll place a dark oak fence gate just here, open, and then we'll write a sign on the upside down stair here that will say on the second row down, uh, this is a bit of a childish word, but <laughs> shampooer <laughs> and uh, floor polish. Ah, do you like a good good joke about, yep, <laughs> floor polisher just here, like so, perfect. And then we'll go back into the other office just in the center and we'll add in ourselves a little sort of unit that goes here, up downstairs here, here and then here, a barrel here, a chest here, up downstairs, a barrel and two more up downstairs and voila. And then finally with your purple wall you can change the flooring of every single office if you want to, it's not necessary, but if you want to, to just some purple wall in here. May have been best to do this before we did the furniture, that was completely my bad, but at least our furniture is all blocks and whatnot so they still float so we can place these under here. Let's get both of these offices done guys and then we'll uh, work on the final details in today's part. So then to complete up the final section in today's video we'll try and get the rest of the arcade done today as well. We'll take an end rod, some green, red, white, blue, orange, any stained glass you want to. We're going to use these for balloons so make sure you get your favourite colours if you want. Some warp trap doors and some light blue glazed terracotta as well as a warped fence gate. We'll need these materials for building some more arcadey stuff over here. We'll take an end rod just on this one here, going up for two. Then we'll stick ourselves a light blue stain, well, a blue stained glass just here. I'm going to do myself a white above it, an orange forward, a red off to its right with a end rod coming down from it. Then I might do myself an orange kind of up here, like so, with another end rod coming off of it. I might do myself another white just kind of over here somewhere, like this, just to make like a cluster of balloons. And then I'm going to go from this one, one, two, over here, and then forward for one just here. Then I'm going to go up for three, end rods like so, and then uh, build myself a new balloon in here. I'm going to do white just on the second one down, over here. Then I'm going to do another white on top of it, a red forward an orange to its left, a blue on top of the white over here, a red forward from that one, and then we need something to connect to this one. So I might do myself another orange just here, say, and then we can maybe go ahead and replace one of these whites with a blue, just to kind of change up the balloon sort of style here. So as long as we have the balloons in here, try and make them a little bit unique if you can, like that, like a cluster of balloons. It doesn't look overly uh, you know, nice, it kind of looks very, very messy. But it's all good and you can add in yourself some more end rods if you want to just to add in some more effects of the balloons like so yeah pretty cool stuff okay then and for the little carousel that goes besides this we just go a block two blocks away from the end rod one two and it's over here we'll take ourselves our light blue glazed terracotta just here and then we'll do ourselves four gates kind of going the opposite direction and all open like that awesome and now I'll take our warped trapdoors folded alongside all of these just to give the effect of the carousel like so. Let's finish this up, grab some, some, <laughs> grab me some more materials even. So now we'll grab some purple stairs, some red, yellow, light blue and blue carpet. Again you can pick your favourite colours. Some blue concrete, white concrete, a birch trapdoor and an armour stand as well. We'll go over to here. We will go onto the sideboard here and crouch. We want to stick ourselves a normal stair, just temporarily, on top of our warped fence gate. Uh, sorry, our warped, yeah, a warped fence gate. So we'll have to like build it across from the balloon, just like so. But these are all going to be upside down. So once we have an upside down one, we can remove the normal one and then start to kind of turn these around. Now they will have to be kind of connecting in this pattern in order to uh, to work out. Now it's very awkward to get them to uh, to turn properly. There you go, once you have it like that, you're good to go. And then you can alternate your uh, carpets on top. So I'll do yellow here, red here, my light blue up here, and then blue just there like so. Cool. Now over here, I'll take myself my two little ice hockey tables or air hockey tables. I'll do one, two, three, blue just here, and three again. A white line between the two sections. 
one, two blue here, and three over here like so. Cool, that is two blocks away from the carousel, remember. Then we'll do another two blocks and we'll do the exact same thing. So we'll do three here, one, and one like so. Then I'm gonna do a line of three, and then two more sort of sectors over here like so. Cool, we leave the gaps in there for the armor stands, which we'll do diagonally and in the floor, like so. Cool, I know that looks really odd, but that's all good. We got a plan, don't worry. And then we'll go ahead and fold up ourselves birch trap doors alongside these, leaving a gap here, going along here, even this one, here as well. Oops, jewelry controller. And then one, two here and here, leaving this one in the middle. Same over this way. Now we need to go ahead and basically use the redstone trick we used to build the uh, the strongman in the arcade machine earlier on in this video. So we'll have to grab ourselves a piston in a moment and a redstone block as well to finish this up. Good stuff. Let's get some more materials. So the final materials for today's video, we'll take an iron helmet, a piston, remember not a sticky one, block of redstone, a furnace, and an item frame as well. Firstly, we want to grab ourselves, let's actually grab some blue concrete back as well. We need to go ahead and make sure that we got this armor stand kind of covered up by a block. But first, you want to stick an iron helmet on both of these, like so. Now, this one may be a bit more awkward because it's on the further side. So we're going to pick block back ourselves some birch trap doors as well. Remove that row. We'll stick a block of redstone back here, a block of blue concrete here, and a piston just here. And that will push it into the far corner like so. Remove the piston, the redstone block, replace your blue concrete, and then your birch trap door as well. Over here, we do the exact same thing. Blue concrete there, block of redstone here, piston, push it in there, piston out, redstone block out, blue concrete back in, and our birch trap door back in as well. Perfect. They are kind of like the pucks for the air hockey. And then we'll take item frames on all of these sides now, adding in ourselves furnaces for where you would collect your puck. Epic, is it called a puck? I hope so. Please let me know in the comments down below, just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> but there we go, guys. That is how to build the Rinko Mania from Stranger Things Season 4 and in Minecraft Part Number 3. Thank you so much for joining me for Part 3, guys. It has been a blast. It has been so much fun. We've actually got a lot done today as well. The arcade is now completed. We've finished the rentals area and these three office spaces and the food area as well. Those are massive, massive things to, uh, to have got done. So very well done to you guys. In the hopefully final episode, it is kind of looking like it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see. We're going to build the rink, of course, where we get all this fancy stuff done, and then these back rooms back here as well. So we've got the uh, toilets and then the uh, sort of staff only uh, janitor's closet and whatnot. So not much to do. Oh, and of course the banners and the roof. Okay, so there's quite a lot to do. But we got it. We got this in the bag. Don't worry, it's going to be awesome. If you did enjoy part number three, please be sure to drop a like on it, guys. That would really help me out so much. And like I said, it always gets these videos recommended to more Stranger Things fans out there. So that would be awesome to see. If you're also interested in staying tuned for part four and you haven't already subscribed, please join the Assassin of today for free by subscribing. And uh, yeah, guys, I will let you guys head off now because it has been a very, very long episode. I uh, really do appreciate you waiting until the outro, though. That is awesome stuff. Thank you so much. Also, I'm on social media if you're interested, so the links are in the description below. I need to go and rest my voice. Oh, it has been a long episode. Goodbye for now, Assassins, and thank you once again.